All right, dude. So we're going to be doing all the workout today is going to be focused on rotational strength speed. So we're going to be trying to move our heavy weight as fast as we can. All right. Warm up wise, we're going to get a little bit of an extensive plyo going. So we're going to do single leg pogos. All that's going to do is going to be like a calf pop. Mm -hmm. We're trying to be as rigid as possible. And we're just bouncing up and down. We could have foot up like Captain Morgan, foot back, but we're not using that for momentum. Mm -hmm. It's just a calf pop. We're going to do 30 per side. So hands on hips and get that pop going. Okay. Cool. Go for it. Easy money. I love using the gym board. It's something cool that we have at our clinic because it's going to be able to get a little bit more spring on top of that. And that spring is going to force him to be able to accept the force and generate more force each step he takes. So it makes it a little bit more explosive of a plyo, even though we're doing extensive, which is going to be plyometric endurance. Perfect, dude. All right. So next one we're going to be on the ground we're going to open up that thoracic spine in the shoulder it's going to be that side lying shoulder sweep we've done these forever just want to walk you through it so we're going to be in that 90 90 position right here arms out wide 90 90 at hips and shoulders and then we're going to trace a big old half circle as wide as you can keep that bottom knee on the ground and then we're bringing it on back we're going to do 10 per, or sorry eight per side Whoa. We're gonna be doing some heavy pulling and heavy pressing. So we wanna make sure that we're opening up that thoracic spine or that mid back, as well as those shoulders and get some rotation as well. And the cool thing is Tommy's really fucking good at these. We've been doing these. I've been working with him for, actually, he's my second longest athlete I've ever worked with. We've been doing these for about four years now. So as you can see, his knee's almost staying completely attached. His spine's rotating all the way through. And he's able to make that half circle and get that both shoulder blades on the ground, which is awesome. Good, dude. All right. So, Tommy Gun. next one we're going to go into is a 90-90 internal rotation drive. This is going to be a hold. It's not going to be for reps like we've done it in the past. We're going to be in that 90-90 hip switch position. Hands are going to plant into the ground. You're actually going to push into the ground to stay tall. And then this back knee is going to rotate up and lift that ankle off as high as you can. This is going to be a 30 second hold. Mm -hmm. It's not a specific 30 seconds. It's you just count to 30. Okay. You're going to feel that pinch right in the front of that hip. And then this is one of my favorite warm up exercises for hip internal rotation. Anytime we're going to do any sort of rotation pattern, which is your entire day. Uh, so we're trying to load that hip and trying to open up that hip because if we get internal rotation, we take pressure off the low back, which we know with somebody as tall and lanky like you, you get a lot of pressure in the low back when we're going through rotational movements. Good. Feel that pinch right in the front? Yeah. Perfect. And something to note, Tommy's doing a really good job. He's not leaning too far forward. He's staying nice and tall as he's going through it, so he's not cheating through his spine to get there. All right, dude. Last one we're doing is a combo of two exercises we've done in the past. We got a low bear sit out into a crab reach. So we're going to be in this low bear position. We're going to fire the elbow first, sit through to a crab position, and then we're going to arch up to the sky and then reach back towards that planted arm. We come back down, pivot through, and go the opposite way. It's going to be eight per side. <laughs> Boom. Boom. Yep. And then only thing I want to fix is fire the elbow first, not the foot. Yeah. <laughs> These are one of my favorite combo exercises. I love doing primal patterns in my warmups. And this is one of my favorite combo exercises because we're getting rotation going. We're training core stability through rotation. But then we also get, if you watch the pattern, shoulder extension, which is hard to get in a warm up, thoracic rotation through the crab reach, and then hip extension as well. Tommy's really good at both of these movements. So this is a perfect warm up before we do any rotational day, or this is a great warm up before jujitsu as well. Perfect, dude. All right, you got one more set all the way through. Fuck yeah. All right. Hook kick for days. One more set all the way through, then we got some work. All right, brother. So first one, we're doing a heavy ass med ball. It's a 30 pound med ball. What we're gonna do is we're catching it up. 
boom, in this goblet position. I want you to load that back hip, try to get that glute going. And then I'm having you jump and rotate as far as you can, okay? So it's extremely heavy med ball, load, catch, both feet planted, try to catch with soft knees, mm -hmm. all right? You got three per side. Okay. Let's see it. Heavy, huh? Mm-hmm. Load that hip, go. And it was a little bit farther than me. <laughs> so load, go. Perfect. So what we're doing with this guy is we're trying to focus on having him load that back hip. That coils the spring, so to say. And then it forces him to then explode off that back hip just like that and get as far as he can with 30 pounds of force on top. Could also do the same thing with like a weight belt or a weight vest. So next one, we have this two handle punch. This is one of my favorite mechanisms is this two handle chop. So this is really heavy. You can do this. I might not be able to because I don't punch shit for a living. What I want you to do, we're starting with this right in line with my right nipple. So the inside nipple, that's where my left hand's gonna be, your outside hand. Inside hand's gonna be right behind. We're going to rip like you're starting a lawnmower and then press with the second handle. The major thing for you is not to lose tension. So it should never be like this on the handle. There's always gonna be spread apart. So I start here, load the spring, punch straight through. Straight through. Okay. You got four per side. This is 45 PSI, probably translates to about 80 pounds. Four each side? Yep, yeah, four each side. Okay. I want you being explosive, bad intentions with everything you're doing. Rip and go. Good, and your main objective, yep, right towards my hand. Good. Yes, sir. Same thing on this side. Get it. Yeah. Turn that back hip over a little bit. Thank you. One more. Good. So now we got that. We are going to do that three more times. So just four sets through. Okay. Cool. So this one's going to be a rotational row, but it's going to be a stepping rotational row. So it's not going to be this one where we stay stable anymore. Now we're actually going to load that front hip and turn. Okay. It's going to have hundred pounds of force on there. What we're starting with, we start square. As I row my elbow back, I am going to step off that front leg ha, and go. Okay, so I'm trying to open up that hip into external rotation and pair that with my row, almost like I'm pulling back to then go into a step off, kind of like your boy did. So, exactly. So we're doing the opposite because we got to be able to decelerate as well as we accelerate. Okay. But as we go, I'll do it on my better side so it looks more clean. We're going to step here, start square, pull, back, pull, back. It's going to be five per side. Okay. Cool. Big thing is bury your feet into the ground. That front foot should not move. Okay. So the benefits for this that I really like are... We have to, just like I said, we have to decelerate as fast as we accelerate. But in a sport like MMA, it's cool because we do both. So this is just like throwing a spinning back elbow. But, or loading up to then throw across. Perfect. Grip and rip. I do. So next one's going to be a rotational jammer press. So this is the opposite pattern of what you just did right here. We got 80 pounds of force on the bar. And what I want you to do, this starts at my front nipple. You are going to punch and rotate up as hard as you can. Notice how I'm not rocking to the outside of my foot. I care a lot about that big toe staying on the ground so that we can push our force through. Okay. okay. So as we're right here, I like to start on guard. I'm going to put hand on punch straight through and pivot. The back foot is pivoting. And I want you to move this weight as fast as you can with that heavy ass foot. Come here, come here. Uh, you got five per side. Okay. 
I love the jammer. I like jammers just as much as I like, uh, you can keep going. Okay. I like jammers as much as I like the landmine, but I think the jammer is actually a little bit more sports specific because it allows him to load up his hips a little bit. Better. Yes, sir. Good. Oh, that's perfect. I had nothing to say. Uh, so next one's gonna be right here. We're gonna do, I'll walk towards him to start. Next one's gonna be right here. It's gonna be a rotational lunge from a zercher position. So as you take a step forward, I want it to be as unbroken as possible, so as little steps in between as possible. As I take a step with my front foot, I'm also going to rotate to about 45 degrees or having my sternum or chest bone in line with my knee. As I then step up, I'm already rotating and pivoting. Okay. okay. We're going 20 yards or our turf just down. Drop it when you get there. You're good. All right, brother. So same thing applies. Don't let that big toe lift off. Foot stays planted every step you take. Yeah. Perfect. I love these because it helps accelerate the glute activation more than just a regular walking lunge. But then also we get the demand similar to a grappling sport where we have to keep that weight right around elbow level like we got a body lock. Yes, sir. Good, get all the way there, let's go. One more. Good, dropper. I'll bring it back. So now we're gonna add on, it's gonna be a heavy med ball scoop toss to finish up. We wanna go from that closed chain now to an open chain where we're throwing something. And because it's heavier, I don't have to worry about throwing it at the beginning, mm -hmm. right? So as we do this scoop toss, that means we're gonna stay low, we're gonna load that back hip, and we're gonna throw through, very similar to that rotational jump that you did at the beginning. I'm gonna pick up this 50 pound med ball. I like to start right about belly button level. I'm going to stay about hip width, load that back hip, and then I'm going to throw as far as I can, we're walking up to it. The goal is anywhere between four to six yards. As I walk up to it, we're gonna go all the way down on the left or right, all the way back on the opposite side. We have four sets. Questions? Mm -mm. Dope, let's do. It's for you. I ain't gonna throw this one to you. Is you ready? I'm ready. Really get that hip through. Try to get your pecker forward at the end. Thank you. Good. Now he's coming back, facing the same way. Why I love this heavy med ball toss at the end, it's very similar to trying to strike under fatigue. Okay, so we have a heavy med ball, your legs and arms feel fucking fatigued and he has to get those hips through. Really over-exaggerate that hip coming forward every time. Thank you. Good. The other reason why I love doing this is we have to be able to explode equally left or right. Tommy switches stances a whole bunch. That's kind of a part of his game that he does extremely well. And being able to switch stances allows him to have more opportunities, but he has to be as powerful left to right so that he can do it. Good. Really turn those hips over every rep. That's all I care about. 